the Guild opened in 1952 as the Protestant Guild for the Blind. And over the years, we've really evolved into serving people primarily with intellectual disabilities. What I liked about the Guild, one of the things is that it's, it's mixed disabilities. We immediately felt comfortable when we walked through the doors. One of the things we really liked about the Guild School is they individualize the instruction for each student. I walked in and there was a young man bouncing down the hall and a cheerful staff person bouncing by them. And he looked exactly like my son. And the staff person looked happy, and the person at the desk looked happy, and I thought, oh, we're home. And the whole transition process from his prior school to the Guild was very smooth. The teachers are amazingly caring and warm and really excited about their jobs. Um, you can tell they're really happy to work here, and they really focus on the student strengths. I think we have people that are here for the right reasons. I think the Guild has, seems to have a real emphasis on safety. If a parent trusts a child in your hands, that means you're doing a good service. I work with a team of job coaches, um, so we have students kind of doing everything you can imagine around the schools. And then we're working on kind of developing employability skills. All of us want to contribute meaningfully to society, and a big part of that is work. It's, it's being part of something greater than yourselves. One of our vocational training spaces is the school coffee shop. It gives our students um, the opportunity to practice like, some really complicated skills. Having those skills could be applicable to a lot of different jobs. The structure of the Guild's residential program has really helped them to live safely in, in a home environment with other people and to navigate safely in the community. I think one thing that I really appreciated has been um, the fact that their houses are in the community and they're really you know, modeling what life might be like for Tyler later on. Yeah, and it's, it's nice. They really try to get the kids out into the community as much as possible. What I enjoy most is just working one-on-one -on -one with the students. Um, I like seeing um, them progress throughout their time here. Jesse's independent life skills have improved dramatically. When he's here, we know that he's, we know that he's engaged, that they're doing activities, that they care about him, that they're teaching him the things that we know he needs to learn, and we don't have to worry about Tyler if we know he's in a good place. At the Guild, we provide a community, a community who cares about one another. The idea is that people get to belong here. It's not, you know, a secondary goal, it's primary. He's always excited to go to school and looks forward to it every day. Um, school vacation weeks are hard for him because he misses school so much. 